would you recommend the app? Would you download the app? No. I don't put apps on my phone. If there isn't anything that I don't need for the purpose of very limited use that I have specifically thought through, then I'm not going to put those apps on my phone. I don't use uh, any kind of social media apps on my phone. I don't use news apps. I don't use any of those things that can be done with a web browser that doesn't need to be done with an app. Uh, apps exist for the purpose of harvesting information locally and if it's something that's being given to you free that means that somebody somewhere has to monetize it and that means that that is going to be exposure that you carry. Throwback Thursday has turned into Wrinkle Wednesday because of the resurgence of a photo editing app called Face App. From celebrities to the team at NBC4, social media has seen a surge of photos of people posting of their aged selves. But is it safe? Cybersecurity expert Matt Curtin says no. However, he says no app is. If you take a look at any of the terms of service that come with most of these things that are free, you are giving away literally everything and giving them the ability to do anything they want in most cases. The fact of the matter, if you are not paying for the product, then you are the product. And that's something that people just don't want to pay attention to. FaceApp was launched in 2017 by developer Wireless Lab 000, based out of St. Petersburg, Russia, according to FaceApp's terms page. It seems to be that it's from Russia, but that doesn't mean that that's the only place that malicious or even non-feasant actors uh, come from. Uh, things that are based in the United States, uh, for example, Facebook, have a long history of exploiting absolutely any information that they can get without regard to the consequences of the people whose information is being harvested, packaged, resold, leaked, whatever. Also on FaceApp's terms page is where app users agree to give the app and other companies under the same ownership rights to users' data however they please. There are ways to protect yourself though, according to CNBC. Users can decline the subscription offer, not grant access to camera rolls, and delete the app once you are finished editing photos.